All right, here we go. Now we're going to do the expansion for e to the x squared. Now we're going to try to start using um, a little bit more sophisticated uh, ideas here. We could write out all the derivatives and go the same way, but often you want to reuse the same things that you already know. For example, we already know that this expansion because we, we've already done this example before. If you're watching the videos in sequence, this example was done a few a few problems ago. This is nice because it, it works for all real values of x. So what that means is that I could put anything in that box and it would still work. Anything. Anything? Yeah, anything. I know. In fact, I could put uh, x squared in that box and if I did that, I would get that e to the x squared is equal to 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth over 2 factorial plus x to the sixth because I have x squared to the third over 3 factorial plus x to the eight over 4 factorial plus x to the tenth over 5 factorial and so on and so forth. That's it. That beautiful example. This shows you that you don't always have to go back with the uh, finding all the derivatives and computing each constant one at a term, one time, one at a time, each of the coefficients. You can use previously known knowledge to tweak it a little bit and get new series easily. That's beautiful. You know what's interesting about this problem is that earlier in the semester we had a problem that caused a lot of uh, fun for a lot of people. The problem went something like this, as I remember it. I think it was something like. Uh, the integral of e to the x squared dx and I don't know why nobody in the class could solve it well look at this look at us now wouldn't it be nice if we could exchange that guy right there that monster if we could exchange it for a polynomial where would I get a polynomial to exchange that for whoa what right here this becomes the integral of 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4th over 2 factorial plus x to the 6 over 3 factorial plus x to the 8 over 4 factorial and on and on and on all that with respect to x. Well, how do you integrate that? Well, let me let's see. Integral of 1 is x. The integral of x squared would be x to the 3rd. The integral of that would be x to the 5 over 5 times 2 factorial. The integral of that would be x to the 7th over 7 times 3 factorial. The integral of that would be x to the 9th over 9 times 4 factorial, and so on and so forth. So this, my friends, is the integral of that. Yippee Nice, huh? I told you. Uh, it was much funner when you couldn't do it. Uh, I think now you can do it. The fun is over. Alright, uh, come back for some more examples. We'll see you guys here.